This is my uh, 2021 Schwinn Axum DP, and uh, the brakes suck. The fork sucks. The brakes suck a lot. I already said that. The uh, cranks or the bottom bracket suck. That's just a square bottom bracket. It's not a steel bottom bracket, so everything gets in it. So it's it's already basically almost seized. Um, yeah, but it's a good bike. And I'll explain why as we get riding. So the big question is, who is this bike for? And I think that this bike is, is for a new mountain biker getting into the sport that uh, that doesn't have a ton of money right out of, right out of the gate. Um, it's great to go ahead and buy an expensive bike if you can afford a fifteen hundred dollar bike. Then buy a fifteen hundred dollar bike. Um, there's the Track Roscoe's. There's the Giant Fathoms. There's the Canyons. There's a ton of other great hardtails that really kick ass. And um, yeah, this uh, this isn't one of them. Right out of the gate, it's not real good. But if you can't afford an expensive bike and you want a bike that you can work on and fix up over time, then this is a phenomenal value because you can get this bike as a new mountain biker and you can ride it and you can learn the ins and outs and you can figure out what works best for you and then you can upgrade it which is exactly what I've done I started out on a fat bike then I got a Trek Roscoe 7 and uh, got rid of it and then I got a Giant Fathom 2 uh, which was a 27 and a half uh, tire bike that bike was absolutely phenomenal I uh, wish I would have never got rid of it, but when I broke my ankle, I had to pay for physical therapy somehow. So, sold that. And after physical therapy and getting back on my feet and being able to walk, I decided it was time to get another bike. And what better bike than a Walmart bike? <laughs> As you can hear, that's my bottom bracket. That's what's uh, that's what's creaking. I've put about 150 miles on this bike so far. And the bottom bracket hates its life. I have uh, destroyed quite a good bit of stuff on this bike. Uh, we're going to run through the woods real quick. There's a small little green trail over here that I'm going to hit. It's got a little climb in it and then it's a little downhill. But I want to show you what kind of performance you can expect uh, out of this bike right out of the box. Uh, which, to be completely honest with you, it's really going to depend on, on your uh, riding ability. My riding ability is, I am a novice biker. Uh, I am not good. But, this bike doesn't have a lot of stopping power. This bike does not have a set of Maxxis aggressors and, uh, well, really any kind of good tire on it. So, yeah. We're going to take a little breeze through the woods real quick. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you how it performs. We might wreck. Hopefully we don't wreck. Let's try not to wreck. We'll, we'll try not to wreck. Because last time I came through here, almost wrecked. We got a little, bit of a little bit of a climb here. I don't know if this bike will make it all the way up with these leaves on it right now. Eh, maybe. We'll see. The big question is, is, can I make it up it? Oh, shit. I want my chain. Ah, damn it. Chain popped off. Got stuck behind the cog. I'll fix that here in a second. Got to the top of the hill. I had to walk it, fix the chain. Now we're gonna go downhill. Oh man, I hate walking up hills. I really ride up them. All right. So, as we spoke about before, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the fork. As we spoke about before, the fork only has 100, millime 100 millimeters of travel, not a lot of travel. We got 180 millimeter rotor in the front, 160 millimeter rotor in the rear. 
They are cable actuated brakes. They don't stop worth a damn. The tires probably have the worst grip of any bike that I've ever ridden. And it doesn't stop. So, needless to say, on these conditions, you got all these leaves, all this pine straw. This bike is a recipe for disaster. So, let's go get fucking hurt. Okay, let's fucking send it. There's a little drop in over here. We're gonna go to the outside of it and try to cut in. I don't know, I haven't took this line yet. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, we just skipped here. That's lovely. Come on. Hey. Come on, bitch. Oh my god, we. Oh my god, we. We. Oh my god, we. Oh, big bump. Little bump. All right, haven't fallen down yet. So that's a plus. There's a tricky corner coming up. Now I'm gonna turn into a berm. Is it this one? Yeah, this is this one. Right. Woo, a little bit of air there. Come on, there we go, come on. Nothing too crazy. A little green trail. Hey, so I don't even think it's a green trail. Honestly, I don't even think it's a biking trail. I think it's just a walking trail. Or should I say a hiking trail? Oops. I punched the GoPro. Hold my uh hold my handlebars. Alright. Anyway, going back down to the parking lot. Nothing's very exciting through here, but we uh, we should just rage it to see if I can. Yeah, we should just rage it. That's uh, a big, big hole. For all the bumps, up the corner. Uh. Right. That's it. We're back out, baby. Back out of the woods. So yeah. I mean, if you want to get a bike that you can fix up, I don't think there's a better bike. Oh, got a bug on me. Got a bug on my face. Uh, if you want to get a bike that you can just throw a little bit of money into, fix something that have a solid bike, this ain't a half bad bike. I'm going to do another video soon because I have a ton of upgrades that are ready to be installed on this bike. So stay tuned for that. Overall though, I think that this is a solid bike. It's a fun bike, especially if you're getting started out. So, you know what, man? Thank you, Schwinn, for making a, a semi-serious bike like this. Because you're getting more people on the mountain biking. And I love that. I love the sport. I love the people that are in it. So, thank you. Y'all uh, have a good day. We'll catch you next time.